gonna take Yolanda for a while here. I'm not sure what this is gonna turn out to be. Either a special feature, a shop time, or maybe a project, I'm not sure. Um, well, you probably know already because of the time. Um, about two days ago, I, I, I was doing some bandsaw blade uh, forge welding for pattern steel. And my objective, let me show you on the anvil here. My objective was to revisit something I wanted to do before. And that is to create, I think you can see that. I wanted to create a billet that was stacked where I had a pattern going this way and then a pattern going this way. And I don't know if you call it a mosaic or a stack pattern, I don't know what. You can see that I think, yeah. So I alternating them. So I, again, I, I forge welded uh, a couple of billets together and, uh, and then I cut off pieces and what I ended up with was little cubes. Like, I don't even think they were three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. And then I tried to forge weld those cubes together and, and I mean, I, I said in the video that I, don't, I, I, may, I may stick pieces in, but it's not very often I don't show you a video, but when there's nothing to learn besides, it was just, I was trying to do something crazy with little, too, too little steel. Um, and I spent a long time doing it too. So uh, what I did today, and again, I'm, I, if I can pull that off, I really want to see that pattern. It did happen. I had two pieces that actually uh, worked in that in that video, and it, it was quite um, promising anyway. But uh, I've put together a billet of bandsaw blades alternating. There's two different blades in here, so hopefully there's two different steels, and hopefully they play together. You know, who the frick knows anymore? Um, anyway, um, what... <sighs> In the past, I've tried doing like, I think 10 or 12 layers and I haven't had a lot of success. I put 20 layers in today. So I have actually two of these. This is do or die, 20 layers each, all right? And hopefully if those two come together, we can bring that together, make 40 layers and then split that in half and make 80 layers or something like that. But anyway, and then draw that out into bars rather than trying to forge weld little cubes together, hopefully I can end up with a couple of bars of steel with patterns, and if I were to forge weld the ends differently, you know what I mean, like this and like that, on something with, with a little meat to it, I might be able to pull it off. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, I'm gonna get these guys in the fire. You've seen me try this before, but this is 20 layers. So I'm not sure, with a hydraulic press, bam, you're done. Why don't I have one? I don't, I don't, I don't have the money, number one. Number two, I don't know if I have the room. I really don't. I think I could find room for a press. Yeah, you guys have no idea how small this shop is. You really don't, unless you've been here. And anybody that's been here, go ahead and comment. And tell everybody how small this shop is. Let's put it in the fire. Really slowly bring this up. Get some flux in it as soon as possible. Now, I did weld a lot more than I normally do because I know there's just so many layers. I don't want them bowing and bending out of place. Um, but by doing that, I don't allow the flux to get in as deep. And so it's, I don't. Right now, I think it's not going to work. I don't think I have. I'm going to use the four pounder for welding. All right, you never see me do that. I don't think I have enough. Oomph. I don't think channel be man, 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 man enough to be able to get that all to stick well. But we're going to give it a heck of a go. All right. Again, I'm slowly bringing this thing up to temperature. I'm just going to spend a little time making sure I got stuff tight together. Hopefully, there's flux down in between the layers where it needs to be. And now we'll go in and. Again, slowly but surely, I've been heating it on the end. So instead of laying it flat in the forge like this, I'm laying it on the end. Hopefully that heat will dissipate to the center better. Uh, and we're just gonna slowly bring that up. I'm, I can't rush it because that inside mass has to be the right temperature. This is gonna work in any way. All right, let's see if we can get down that freaking billet and back. Two hits all the way down and back. I didn't see, ouch, up my glove, hole in the glove. I did not see a hell of a lot of flux splatter on that, which probably means I didn't get a hell of a lot of flux down in there, but it sure did seem to hit solid. I hope. I didn't go as hot as I wanted to, but I got this theory in my brain that I might be with this high carbon steel going a little too hot, breaking down the quality of the steel, not the quality, but the integrity. And that may be why I'm having some issues, but we'll, we'll do it three times like that, I bet you. The steel's telling me that it wants another go at it, so let's give her a try. See how that 
this does. And it looks it looks pretty good, I think. We're gonna go one more time through. I guess it ain't gonna hurt to throw a little flux in there. Think. I think we're getting somewhere now. Hard to tell with all those welds in there. Alright, the flux says it's where it wants to be. Let's go through one more time. Steel, there was something going on for sure. All right, now another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to run a flatter down through there because um, I find when when I uh, go to grind this, clean it up to do the next layer. Hammer marks and divots in there, so I'm going to try to take those out if I can. Best I can. I'll just keep it up one more time just to clean it up so grinding. Well, that's a good surface over there. Grinding isn't quite a problem. Actually, this one looks good. Using the back of the anvil, I didn't do too badly. So, uh, what a rush. What do you guys think? You think she's stuck in the middle? With that four pounder? We're gonna find out. Let's set that one off to the side. And we'll give this other one a go. All right, might as well bring you for the wilds. The flux is telling me that the temperature's right. That scared me. I brought it out into the sun, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that color doesn't look good, but. And remember that sun takes a heck of a lot of reading away from your color. So we'll just throw some more flux in the side. We'll come out for the second well. Sound too bad. This doesn't sound too bad. Straighten this handle up so we can keep it straight and fire. Alrighty, one more time through. I guess it won't hurt to put a little flux on her. I don't think she needs it now. Alright, last time through on this second bolt billet. Flux getting squeezed out. I see that. Look, it looks like a bubble right there on that outer one. I'll try to use the inside here. I'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't like the way that flux squirted out of there. to get a nice decent edge on it. Feels solid. What is Chandler now? What does Chandler know anyway? I know that's a bubble right there in that top level, which is interesting. All right, let's let this stuff cool down and I'll go ahead and I'll zip off these edges, all right? We don't want those getting in the way, and we'll put these two together, I guess. All right, so from that to this, all right, we cut off, again, I trimmed off the edges, the end, and cleaned off one side of it. The welds look good. I mean, I don't see any lines. Of course, they're hidden in there probably somewhere, but um, it looks good. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, and then we'll, I think we'll bring those two pieces together. I tell you that stuff got hard. 
Uh, a little bit of bowl in here, so I just welded this end on these two pieces. They're all cleaned up on the inside. It's the most time I've spent preparing a billet for forge welding. Um, I'll go ahead and get it heated, get some flux in there, uh, and then go ahead and close this end off. I might even throw a weld on there just to help hold it. All right, so I heat it up just as hot, just hot enough, so I get some flux in there. And then uh, heat, this is the second time heating it. Try to get anything out of there be between there. So it should be just flux in there now. Just not melted. I'm just going to throw some more down in there. And then I'm going to bring that end down. Like I said, it was bowed a little there. And uh, just put a tack on that end so the thing doesn't slide sideways on me. Just to tighten up. Just to tighten things up a little bit. Get it there, get her done. Alright, we'll throw that tack on and we'll do it for welding heat. Alright, the flux says it's ready, the color says it's ready, I just don't think it's ready. But we're gonna go for it. Alright, all the way down through one hit maybe and then back up through. Alright, we gotta be pretty damn close if we're not there. Felt good. Felt good, felt good. This is, I think, the heaviest billet that I've tried welding before, but that's, it seemed to be okay. Let's get it back in. See if we can come up to. We're definitely going to do three on this one. I don't want anything goofy to happen now. We must see nothing burning. Based on flux and color, here we go. I don't know what just happened, but I mean, <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about, actually. Um, something just came up and was right on my eye. It must have been my eyelash burning. Thank goodness I have my eyes and my glasses on. Alrighty, let's uh, go ahead and flex it to hell. I think we're there. We got a little more, you notice, I'm thicker out here than I am back here. I didn't put as much force out there, so I need to make sure I hit that one really good on that one. Hit that one really well. For the third weld, third and final, then we'll see what we got to go with. Damn flux. Alright, sounds like we're getting close here. Let's go ahead and just... Whew, what do you guys think? Are we there or not? As there as we're gonna be, that's for show. I'm gonna just gonna flatten it back down again like I did before. I don't know for sure if we're gonna feel like hitting it there, man. I wish I could. I wish I could. Just to save me some grinding. I probably shouldn't, but I'm doing it anyway. So bad. What do you guys think? Is it there? Do not know. Do not know. I do not know. It's hard to tell till we get it round up. Alright, turn the fire down a little. Let that cool. And uh, we'll go ahead and decide what the next move is. If that thing looks good, I might draw it out. I might draw it out into a square and then start stacking those squares. You know, hopefully if I draw it out maybe 
let's see if I do three, four, let's do four at four inches. 12 to 16 inches long, that'll give me three or four inch billets to work with, alternating stacking them on top. Maybe we can pull this, this thing off, we're gonna find out. Well, that's how you wish you had four billets just like this one, but that's the side profile. So there's uh, 20, 20, 40 layers in there. Uh, it looks good. I don't see anything that scares me at this point in time. Everything looks all right. Like I said, I wish I had four of these, because then I'd take the next one after they're squared off, rotate it, stack it on this one, and vice versa, and get four different uh, patterns in there. Um, I suppose if I did three, well, I'll have to think about it a little bit. So, uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and forge this thing out. I don't want to. I just. I don't want to go any freaking smaller because I'm going to be right back where I started, trying to weld two smaller stuff together. Wonder if I took and drew this out just flat, folded. Now, if I took this and drew it out square, not much bigger. Cut it, rotated, welded. Well, did that, drew that out square, not much bigger, and then folded. Yeah, that might be the way to do it, the safest way. All right, let's go ahead and just kind of square this off. Wow, that is hard. What the hell kind of steel on this boy has to do? That is hard. Ooh. Must be hot on the outside, not on the inside or something. Let's try it again, see what she feels like this time. Man, I didn't feel like I wanted to move last time, I'll tell you. Just kind of draw it out a little bit, square it off a little bit. Again, I'm, not, I'm looking for a square, that's all. I've got just about the length that I want. Just about the length that I want. So we are sixteenth over three quarters, three quarters, sixteenth over three quarters, three quarters plus a little, three quarters. All right, I call that square enough. What we're gonna do? So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna cut this billet in half. All right, I'm gonna cut it exactly in half. This piece, I'm gonna rotate 90 degrees and we're gonna forge weld it back on. All right, so we're back again. I took the bottom one, cut it, rotated 90, and uh, stacked it back on. We'll bring it up to enough temperature to melt some flux, and then we'll try welding that sucker on. Hopefully we don't fail that weld. And if we do that one more time, now that'll give me two different patterns. Do that one more time, she'll give me four, and that's what I'm looking for. Dang, is that it? Man, right, everything says we're up to the right temperature. Let's just hope we are. Alrighty. Let's just hope we are. We're going for a second weld. Let's try weld two here. Hope we're good. Looks good. Always tempted to hit that last time after everything cools down, you dumbass. Ah, that's me right there. <coughs> well, we're gonna go in a third time. He's gonna draw that out, right? Yeah, he's gonna draw that out. Let's hope everything is okay. All right, let's come at it with a three pounder for a little plastic hitting. I saw something open up out there. I swear I thought I saw something open up out there. See this, this one is so dangerous because the freaking thing is. Is, uh, 
going the wrong way. But I don't know whether I want to draw this out some. Oh, this stuff gets hard quick. I wonder what the hell it's made of. Or if I should just cut it and stack it again. Now I'm starting to get a little bit narrow again. Oh, sugars. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I, don't, I hate hammer on that freaking edge like that. Probably gonna end with C's in here rather than. Let's draw it out a little bit, see what happens. Let's draw this sucker out a little. Probably should be a good idea. I got a little split right here starting just at the very edge from that vertical line. I'm going to put a oh, tack weld on that. See, I'm, I'm worried about hammering on it. So our first layer is this way, and then that top one that I'm hammering on, well, it's probably seized now, but that way, you know, an indirect hit on a weak, weak spot. I think I'm not going to draw it out much further. I'm going to go one more time through, and... Uh, and we'll fold it again. That'll give me. Oh shit! It's still gonna give me one, one on top. Dang. Man, man, maybe it presses the way to go. Let's draw it out a little bit more. time we don't rotate. You think about it. Alright, because we got horizontal and then vertical. We're just going to cut and move up. That'll be horizontal again. We'll do one more anyway. Alrighty, there we go. I don't know if my little four pounder is going to have enough oomph to get through that, but we're going to heat her up. And again, uh, I don't know if I said this. Uh, I took this piece. Oh no, I didn't say this. It's just something I thought of. This piece and I just folded it up. And that way, in my mind, the bottom lines will be horizontal. Let's say these C's go this way. Because I folded it up, the other C's will go the other way. Just to say, the chances are it's not going to work. It's going to fail before we get done. But uh, let's go all the way. Go big or go home. See what we end up with. I'm shocked that we got this far, and I'm a little worried. But uh, we're going to keep going. I hope. The colors and everything look good. This time, I'm not going to come at it crazy hard, because if I hit an oblique, it's going to uh, try to move. We're getting awful high here. So that first weld, I'm just hopefully setting it. It's kind of going back to my normal methodology. Normally I don't come in hard like I have been today, but I knew I had some meat to go through, but I just felt this time, because we are so tall right now, that uh, I'd come in and just set it, and then we'll come back and go to town next time. Don't know why. But I just had that feeling. This time will come in a little harder, but still not crazy. Just work it a little bit. Next time we'll go a little farther. Man, it's hot. I don't 
don't know, it doesn't look horrible. It don't look so crazy horrible. Still Ford Wellington, but you know it's good. All right, let's go to town on this one. Finish her up. There you have it. Now that should give us eight patterns on the end here. Ooh. Do I want to cut her and do it one more time? Can I handle that high of a billet? I think I can. Let's do it. It'll be 16. Should be something to look at. I don't see anything blowing up on me at the moment. Famous last words. Boy, that shit gets hard fast. All right, let me clean it up. We'll rotate it. You're a stupid Chandler. You should stop now. Right, I just hit one over on the grinder to, to uh, clean it up to cut it and then it, it's only about two inches now if I cut it it's gonna be one inch and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the right amount of force in that spot so I'm gonna actually draw this out please um, cross your fingers that it doesn't blow it on me eh? alrighty you're gonna watch it die watch it die so we're just gonna stretch this sucker out hopefully so I can have somewhere near a two inch belt when I get done Too much. Just one more of those, I think we'll be okay. Maybe I'm near four inches, not three and a half now. Alright, yeah, let's see if we get one more stretch out of this son of a gun. Man, that's hot on the knuckles. You can do it. It doesn't have to be square because we're just rolling up. Woo. Well, we got more than we had, that's for sure. Alright, so we're rolling up. Actually, I'm going to roll it here. Gotta keep this hammer center. It's a handle in the center. Alright, I'll be back. All right, there she is. And that's as far as I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna press my luck. The only thing I was thinking I'd like to do is once I have it, to fold it sideways, and that would give me a double stack. But um, that should be if I if I kept track of my count. I think that's 32, right? Went from two to four, 48, and eight to 16, and uh, two to four, four to eight, eight to 16, to 32. I think. So just like we did before, we're gonna bring her up and uh, hopefully we get a good stick here, guys. That would be really cool if we did. I'll go ahead and get some flux in here before we get a chance to get too much crap making itself in the inside. Whew. Damn, I could roll that in half. Double stack it. I'll be back when she is ready. Well enough alone. Colors are good. Just, just like I did before, because of the height of the stack, and I'm just going up. Come on, just try to get that stick in there, right? Angle's getting hot. Just to try to get her to stick. I need a new brush. Move that handle out. I shouldn't say anything. Chandler opens his mouth. Now the hammer handle's gonna fall off. 
I'm afraid I'm going to have to. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go in for a little more aggressive. Colors are good. Let's do it again. This works. I will be impressed. All right, one more time just for shits and grins, and then I hate to say it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fold this sucker in the opposite direction. Double that pattern. I hate to do it, but how can I stop now? Right, one more good one. Come on, you pull them away. The hammer getting more and more and more. One, do or die. Gosh, I want to go. I see something don't make you happy there. Let's go in one more time. Oh, please don't freak up now. I see just a little bit on the edge here. Good. That does it. I probably won't go any farther than that. I'm gonna risk it. Damn it. I saw it. I saw it. Alright, whatever's there, please let's get it to fix. Let's get it to fix whatever it is. See a line. I hope it's not something crazy. Son of a. All right. Uh, let me think. All right. I forgot where I left off. I had somebody stop by the shop. Sorry. So I cleaned this billet up, and again, I said I saw something. It looks pretty good on this side. Ouch! It's hotter than mother. Um, but you see that one line right there, and that scares me. Did I did I mess up that last weld or not? Um, I'll go ahead and, and just etch the end of this. You'll see what it's looking like. The last thing I really would like to do is take this, cut it in half, flip it up this way. And that'll give me too high in this pattern. Um, geez, I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. Let me etch this bottom just to give you an idea what it looks like. And uh, maybe that'll give me inspiration and bravery enough to flip it. All righty. I'm <coughs> afraid I'm going to regret what I'm about to tell you, but I'm going to tell you it anyway. I just threw it in the edge for a few minutes. That's that one spot. See that? All right, this side doesn't look too bad. Now, can we see the pattern on the end here? Holy shit, I think I fucked up. Something ain't right. <clears throat> Can you see it? Let me find some light. All right, I think I freaked up. Sorry if I just swore and I keep that in. Because if you take a look at it, look what I did. Unbelievable. I meant to have flat, squiggle, flat, squiggle, swift, and I end up doing the flats together and the squiggles are on the outside. That really freaking sucks sucks terrible I don't know what I did wrong I have to go back and watch my own video but the pattern's cool so again this is actually right here that S shape there's actually two patterns that's two of my C's squashed down unfortunately I put them together so where the hell how can that be it doesn't make sense I don't know now because didn't I uh, I don't know <laughs> You figure it out because it didn't. It isn't what I wanted. I expected 16 patterns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I expected 16 patterns, and I only see basically one, two, three, four. And these are two. Oh my gosh! I can't believe I screwed that up. That's horrible. So anyway, 
that looks it look, the pattern's cool and I don't know how many freaking layers you know I've counted I mean I, how many folds I did but in reality we started off with 20 layers to begin with so holy tamales I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and run my MIG welder right down this crack and hopefully it's only superficial I'm gonna then cut this sucker like this flip it back up actually I'm gonna flip it and rotate it I guess it doesn't matter now because those patterns are on the outside gosh that sucks Man, I thought I was going to have something more than that. What a dummy. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take that next step, and that'll give me two stacks of this high, and then we'll go and see what we have from there. Sorry. Sorry I uh, freaked up, man. I don't see it. I mean, I see these are one, two, and there's two down here. Oh, two down here. One, two. That's four. And is there four layers in here? Is eight? I thought I went. I thought I had thirty-two layers. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, them's the brakes. Maybe they all got squished in here. You know, I don't know. I do not know. But I'm disappointed. I mean, I'm, it's a, still a pretty pattern, but I'm disappointed. It isn't what I was after. All that work, and there's no way for me to get there because the damn lines are in the center. There's no way to do it. I can't get a line out here in any way whatsoever. Son of a bitch. All right, I'll be back. All right, where'd all the steel go? That's what I want to know. Holy cow. So I cut it and just flipped it straight out so our pattern should look pretty cool this way. Let's get her up. Let's get her flux. We'll go through this one, one more weld, and that's it. We'll call it a project. I can't believe I didn't... I just can't believe I didn't flip that stuff right. It's, it's going to drive me nuts all day now. Alrighty, so I threw a little flux on it to begin with, we'll clean her off, and we'll throw a little more flux on her, get her set where I want her. Let's hope this weld is okay, because we're damn close to being where I want to be, as far as getting a piece out of here. I'm shocked at how small this piece looks. Again, I'm just going to set it so everybody's tight. There's already flux hopefully down in there. Bring it up to a forge welding temp. Just like we did before, we'll do a little gentle on this one too, since it's a higher stack. All right, she says she's the right temperature. Let's see what we get. Stop there. We're gonna wanna draw it out this way, so. Let me make sure I keep my orientation right there. You son of a gun, I can't believe it. We got a block of steel here. I wonder how much disappeared. This is one exercise I should have waited at the beginning. Because I don't I haven't up to this point I haven't lost any due to any failures. You know what I mean? Everything is scale and hammering. Let's go for the second weld. Thing it's final seat and that's what we'll call it right there we'll call that the billet I hope we're okay all that work for nothing huh? all right so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna take this handle off I'm gonna clean up all the edges I'm gonna move the handle over to this side because now I'd like to stretch this knife out or this billet out um, I'll come back with it cleaned up and we'll take a peek at what the pattern is. The pattern's on this end, that's what I'm looking for. And uh, we'll call this part of the video done and then I'll, I'll, when I draw it out, I'll make another video because if it fails, it should be a short one. Alright, guys, you want the good news or the bad news? Good news is I'm back. Okay, yeah. Bad news is I was grinding this off, cleaning it up so I could etch it. It was still a little too hot to handle, so I threw it in a water quench and it went pop. So that's bad news for Chandler. There's the, the pattern though. Can you see it all right there? I can't see. I'm so sick of being blind. All right. So there's four, four of them. And each one has, who knows? I mean, there's one, two, three. I mean, there's, each one is supposed to have, I thought 16. I don't know now what the hell it is. But when I threw it in the water, it went crack. And I see, yeah. 
this way and that way and this way and that one that way. So my guess is there's not going to be a second video. All right, this is what I was after that pattern. Well, it wasn't what I was after, but that's what I was hoping to take and do something with. But we're going to throw this in the forge and it's going to fall apart before our eyes. All that work. Can you believe it? Stupid Chandler. It doesn't matter. It would have fallen apart anyway. All right, that, that quench. The thing wasn't that hot, so chances are it would have fallen apart when I forged it. But let's just forge this thing out and see what the hell we end up with. We're going to end up with four toothpicks. Do you want to play a game? How many hits, how many licks does it take to get to the middle of a Tootsie Prop? Well, this game is going to be how many hits before Chandler's billet falls apart. One. For all of you eternal optimists, they're saying, oh no, those are just superficial. They're not a big deal. None of those cracks were there after I ground and before I quenched. So, <laughs> they're there. All right, let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. That's how you waste four hours of your day, Chandler. That's how you waste four hours of your day. Sums up, bitches, sums up, bitches. It's a real tearjerker, ain't it? The only good thing is that all my haters wouldn't have watched this long, so they'll never know. Shh, don't tell them. Can you believe that, guys? So, it, again, I, in my mind, I think it's it's fine. The, the freaking last two Forge Wilds weren't good enough. So I would have probably taken this course anyway. Man, that is just sad, sad, sad. Really sad, really, really sad. Really, 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 really sad. There goes one, everybody saved. Got some of it, but not much, I'll tell you. Just break off, you know you want to. You know you're gonna. You know you're gonna, there's two. Okay. Safe. And let's get one more out of here. I might actually have to cut him off. We're gonna work one of these son of a guns, I'm telling you. you. Gotta love it. Just in case I have a good time with this. Next part. And actually, I, I might turn these things. You know, I got four pieces of dice I could make. Damascus, Damascus kind of pattern. Well, the dice. Uh, I'm gonna draw one of these out and see what the hell the pattern would have been at some point. But uh, I might um, call this video done. Come check out the how to recover from a failure. All right, never, let's see, what, never say die. Check out the next video, it might be called Never Say Die. Mm-hmm, what a day, damn. No money made today, channel. Good job. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining, uh, and you wanna support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right-hand side of the screen called Support. And it's kind of like a tip jar, and go ahead and leave Chandler a tip for this video, and that'll help me make some more, I guarantee. Thanks for your support, as always.